Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel, Mambalut's Math Tutorial. Today, we will be discussing the arc length and the sector and segment of a circle. What is an arc length? It is just actually the length of a certain arc of the circle, which can be computed as L is equal to theta over 360 degrees times 2 pi r, where our L is the arc length, theta is the degree measure of the arc, and r is the radius of the circle. Observe that 2 pi r is the formula of the circumference of the circle. So the arc length is just a proportion in the circumference of the circle. Example number one. An arc of a circle measures 60 degrees. If the radius is 5 centimeters, what is the length of the arc? So if we have this circle which has an arc of 60 degrees and a radius of 5 centimeters, so we have to compute the measure of the arc length here, colored in red. So using now the formula of arc length, we have theta over 360 degrees times 2 pi r. So we substitute theta and r, so we have 60 degrees over 360 times 2 pi times r, which is 5. So 60 over 360 can be reduced to 1 over 6, and 2 pi times 5 is equal to 10 pi. So multiplying the expression, we've got 10 pi over 6, which can be reduced further into 5 pi over 3. So the length of that arc is equal to 5 pi over 3. Now let us proceed to the sector of a circle. It is the region bounded by an arc of the circle and the two ready to the end points of the arc. So if we have the circle and that is the end points of the arc and we have the two ready, so the area inside bounded by this region is what we call the sector of a circle. So this area is just actually like having one slice of a pie. So to compute for that area, we have theta over 360 degrees times pi r squared. So observe that pi r squared is the formula of the area of the circle. So the sector of a circle is just a part or a proportion of the area of the whole circle. So from this, again, A is the area of the sector. Theta is a degree measure of the arc, and R is the radius of the circle. Example number two. Find the area of the sector of the circle with an angle of 30 degrees and a radius of 6 meters, as shown there in the diagram. So from that, we have theta is equal to 30 degrees, and the radius is equal to 6. So using now the formula of the area of the sector, which is theta over 360 degrees times pi r squared. So we substitute the values of theta and r. We've got 30 degrees over 360 degrees times pi times 6 squared. So theta over 360 degrees can be reduced to 1 over 12. And then pi times 6 squared is equal to 36 pi. Multiplying the numbers, we've got 36 pi over 6 and dividing 36 pi by 6, we've got 6 pi. So the area there bounded by that region of the sector of the circle is equal to 6 pi. Now let's have the segment of a circle. It is the region bounded by an arc of the circle and the segment joining its end points. So if this is the circle and those are the end points of the arc which measures theta, and we have the segment joining the endpoints, or what we call also as a chord. So the area bounded by that chord and the arc is what we call the segment of a circle. So observe that if we put two radi over here, which measures R, so the area of the segment of the circle can be computed as the area of the sector, which we discussed a while ago, which is equal to one slice of a pie minus the area of a triangle there, the triangle formed by the two ready and the chord. So if we substitute the formula, the area of the segment now becomes 
theta over 360 degrees times pi r squared, which is the area of the sector, minus the formula of the area of the triangle, which is base times height divided by 2. Example number 3. Find the area of the segment of the circle with an angle of 30 degrees and a radius of 6 meters. This is actually uh, the same example that we have in example number 2 in which we compute for the area of the sector of the circle. But this time, we will be computing for the area of the segment formed by this given example. So previously, we have computed that the area of the sector is equal to 6 pi. So now we will be computing for this region. So the area of the segment is equal now to area of the sector minus area of the triangle. So we need to compute first for the area of the triangle, which is base times height divided by 2. But what are the base and the height of the triangle? So focusing now on our triangle, we can have the radius of the circle as the base of our triangle which is equal to 6 and then the height of the triangle can be created from one of its vertex perpendicularly going to the base of the triangle so we have the line there observe also that the angle here is 30 degrees since the length of the arc is 30 degrees and from that we have created a special right triangle which measures 30, 60, 90 degrees triangle. So the length of the shorter side in a 30, 60, 90 triangle is equal to one half of the length of the hypotenuse. And in here, the height of the triangle is the shorter leg since it is the opposite side of the 30 degree angle. So therefore, the length of our height is one half of the hypotenuse and our hypotenuse is actually the radius of the circle which is equal to 6 so the length of the height now is 6 divided by 2 which is equal to 3 so the area now of the triangle is 6 which is the base times the height which is equal to 3 divided by 2 so 6 times 3 is equal to 18 and then 18 divided by 2 is equal to 9 so, the area of the triangle is equal to 9 square meters. So, we can compute for the area of the segment which is equal to the area of the sector which is equal to 6 pi minus the area of the triangle which is equal to 9. So, therefore, we have there 6 pi minus 9. So, now it's your turn to answer the modules. I hope you learned something from our discussion today. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much at your service, Mambalot.